Good, because we're live, ladies and gents, boys and girls, children of all ages, and as well as kitty cats and dogs. Welcome to a show about trivia, ASAT, if you will. Uh, I am JP Ojo and Pierce Owens, hosting today two familiar faces in the world of movie trivia. Introducing first alphabetically, he's down to movie, as always. It's Rick, everybody. Hey, everybody. What's going on? Good to have you back, good sir, here in the trivia arena. And his opponent, now the two-time trivia champion, Crazy Joe, derailed his momentum for a little while, and then he got that rematch clause in his contract. It's no gimmicks necessary. Mr. Mesa Media, Steve Mesa. Yes, sir. And and I was the first one to defeat Crazy Joe while he was the first one to defeat me. So we're going to have to have that rubber match very soon. I remember match with us. We'll have Joe back on pretty soon here. The original match was Joe versus Rick today, actually, but uh, things happen with schedules in our ways. You get the so. next best thing. I emphasize, <laughs> on the be- I emphasize on the best part. All right. So, hey, who knows? Uh, Rick, maybe you can avenge your friend Joe tonight. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Oozing confidence. Oozing confidence is Rick. <laughs> Oozing or losing? Not hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> All right, question number one. All right, this is a premise. What film is this the premise for? In order to achieve their dream of opening a record studio, two friends must win their city's dance contest in what 2000s film? Okay. I'm 100% confident in this, but I'm Almost positive. One more time. In order to achieve their dream of opening a recording studio, two friends must win their city's dance contest in what film from the 2000s? From the 2000s, okay. Yes, yeah, just uh, general. I didn't give a specific year. Mm. You know, we've all been there when we have okay. to dance our way to success. All right, so I'm going to change my answer then. We all know how much Rick loves to pop and lock on the weekend. Well, that's true, but this is a stumper. It seems like a movie would be right up my alley too. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if it's right up my alley too, because I'm not a hundred percent sure on this answer. Oh, Mr. Perfect Game Mesa, let's see if we can uh, start off hot. Rick, what you got? I don't think that's right. Cadillac Records, Steve. You got served. It is you got served. Hey! Steve does get the first point. Never I I, I'll tell you what. I heard two thousand. I I put down a save the last dance. Oh, Richard. you went very year specific. I like, well, then you should be glad. Rick, Rick asked for a repeat. <laughs> he saved you, anyway. Yeah, he did. He did save me. <clears throat> Thank you, Rick. Damn. Uh, yes, check your mailboxes, everyone, because you just got served. Uh, I believe that's a lie from the film. Maybe I'm making that up. I don't know. Number two, this might be a softball, but whatever. What movie does James Earl Jones play Eddie Murphy's daddy? Uh, All right, Steve, what you got? Coming to America. Rick. Yes, indeed. And in fact, I guess technically now I would also accept coming to America because I would also technically be correct. <laughs> yes. Number three, what movie does the legend Tom Hanks play the character Jimmy Dugan? Tom Hanks as Jimmy Dugan. In. In. All right, Rick CM Punk, what you got? I'll leave their own. Steve, you got that? Ah, uh, fuck me. No. You're lying. You're lying. Oh, he's not lying. I thought he was teasing us there. Nah, I got it wrong. Time. I didn't think about that. I That character name, yeah, that's my fault. I bleeped on that one. I thought I thought he was teasing me because he does sometimes do that to us. But no, I, no. I, I, I no, think, that one, yeah, yeah. He got as me. As a question at number four, in the full Monty, not the reboot starring me, who plays Gaz, former steel worker who forms a strip tease group? This is 50-50 on this one. 
All right. I got an answer. I do too. It's probably not a right one though. Tom Hanks was Michael Sullivan, by the way, in Rich uh, Tradition. Just wanted to look that up. Thanks. All right. Just to uh, rub it in there. To, Rick, what you got? Going with a Nick Frost, Steve. I went with uh, Robert Carlyle. Carlyle gets you that third point. Yes, yes. sir. I thought it was Mark Addy. Uh, King Robert from Game of Thrones. That? Yeah, he is. Yeah, true. I think of him as a uh, Shrek or Still Standing, the sitcom. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> number five. Good reference. Uh, I like. I really like Still Standing. <laughs> Who played combat pilot Trudy, who is sympathetic to the Navi in Avatar? In combat pilot Trudy, not enough Trudies nowadays. Anyone know someone named Trudy? I know a Judy. It's not the question I asked at all. <laughs> you know, she happens to be a judge too. Oh, so you don't know her, you liar! You know of her. I have something down. Steve, what's your something? She's a person I have interviewed once and while she was wearing sunglasses because she was so bleeping hangover. Michelle Rodriguez, the Rick. Zoe Saldana, I know she is a Navi. It's Michelle Rodriguez who is sympathetic to the Navi. Number six, in The Dark Knight Rises, what villain serves as the judge of Commissioner Gordon's trial? In. Great scene. I popped in theaters. And you cheered. And I'm watching a movie right now with this particular actor. Hey. I won't say because then I might give it away. My bet. People give a lot of crap about that movie, but I really liked it. I mean, it's it's good. It's fun. You know, it's a good capper. Is mm -hmm. it as good as the first two? No. One more time. Sorry. No, not at all. In The Dark Knight Rises, what villain serves as the judge of Commissioner Gordon's trial? I can picture the scene. <laughs> now can you picture the face? I can. Or if you if you know the real name, not the real name, but the name of the character or the like gimmick name of the character, I'll accept either. All right, I have something down. All right, I think we're back to Rick. Scarecrow, Steve. It is Scarecrow. Yes, indeed. You nailed it, both of you. Scarecrow, played by Killian Murphy, who's in Dunkirk, with that I'm watching right now. They're also directed by Chris Nolan. Yeah. Speaking of directors, hope I didn't give it away. No. Who directed Black Swan? And... <sighs> Extra points for counting, for spelling, counting. Uh, I mean, I'll give you mad props if that counts. Hey, that's all that counts. Hey, if okay, that's uh, mad prop counts, and I, I'll I'll love that in my books. Well, let's see I'll if you get some mad props. What you got, Steve? I got Darren Aronofsky. All right, and I think you do get the mad props. Please. And uh, you don't get mad props, but you get the point. <laughs> oh, damn it! <laughs> you got Not it. Again. You got it. All right. Who played the eccentric pilot in Independence Day? Question number eight. In. Eccentric pilot? Yeah, that's a good way to describe him. No? I think so. I mean, if you want to say more, it'll give away. Okay. Kooky? Kooky's a good word. <laughs> sure. Why not? Uh, what you got, Rick? Who's eccentric? Hold on. Hold on. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. You did. <laughs> pick up on yes. 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 Steve, can you match it? The bleep is the bleeper is full, Mr. Randy Quaid. Oh, oh another. Yeah. What did he say that Independence Day? I got you now. I got you now. No, no, it's a different movie. I know, Christmas Vacation. I saw it for the first time last year. Uh, what? Not, what? No, look at that. Everyone gets mad at me. What? It's mad at me that I, not that I saw it, too. No, no, we're not We're not mad. We're just Shocked. dumbfounded. <laughs> That's the only Christmas movie I watch every year. 
I'm, hey, I don't know if I'll follow suit. I'll I watch agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree, Rick. 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 Yes. Uh, I agree. I, wanna, I agree. Uh, it's a tradition. No. It's a tradition. Get you. Get you. You just started your tradition last year. Mm. I watch Noel every year with uh, Anna Kendrick. No, I don't know. <laughs> what? Number nine. Who played Clark Kent's father in 1978's Superman? Oh, that's a good question. I like the new uh, Superman TV show. I enjoyed the pilot. Fun fact. I cannot stand Superman. In oh, just any- in general? Yep. Mm. Mm. What did he ever do to you? <laughs> Not entertain me, that's for sure. <laughs> that's what he did All to right. you. He bored you. Uh, this is the only old Superman movie I've seen. I, I got an answer, but I'm, it's not the right one. <laughs> I have the wrong answer as well. <laughs> All right, Steve, give me your wrong one first. <laughs> Kevin Costner. Yeah, that's very wrong. Bob Hope. Oh, I'd love to see it. Uh, looking for Glenn Ford. Glenn Ford. Yeah. Number 10, Clint Eastwood plays a detective. Go. No, I'm just playing. Uh, plays a detective stuck with rookie cop Charlie Sheen in what movie? And. And. What you got, Rick? Yeah, rookie cop, the rookie, and the rookie. <laughs> All right, you both got it. Eight to six, by the way. So anyone's game is we are more than halfway there living on a prayer at this moment. Number 11, who stars as Marion Snow, a convict in a maximum security space prison in 2013's Lockout? Who just mentioned... Someone mentioned they hated this movie. Might have been, I don't know. I saw some video that said they hated this. Lockout? Uh, lockout. Lockout. I got an answer. I have a guess. Oh, we got some puzzled faces. Let's see what we got. Break, what's the guess? He says Guy Pierce and C. Mesa says. Bruce Willis. And Rick just get bridged the gap a little bit more. Eight to yep. seven. Guy Pierce is what we're looking for. Yep. Uh, Bruce did do a movie last year, though, that looked very similar. Something about a spaceship and he was on. <laughs> Number 12, in the Avengers, not the Sean Connery one, what S.H.I.E.L.D. agent does Black Widow say first brought her into the fold? All right. I'm not 100% sure on this, but I think I got it. I have Steve, a guess. Steve Mesa. Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye. And Rick. Oh, unfortunately, Nick Fury's on my shirt, but he's not the answer. It's Hawkeye. Number 13. What is the profession of Charlie Sheen's character in Machete Kills? Ooh. And... In. And Steve. Uh, is it Senator? And Rick. And he's bridging the gap once again. Nice. Nice president. He is indeed full on president in that movie. Number 14. Who plays the thief that Ethan Hunt recruits and falls in love with in Mission Impossible 2? The worst of the series. I agree. It's the only okay. one that I won't rewatch on purpose. I'll rewatch it maybe, but it's the last one I would rewatch. All right, I'm in. I don't think that's right. We shall find out, Rick. We shall find out if it's right. Marianne Cotier? Uh, yeah. Sandy Newton. Oh, Steve got it. Tandy new and currently seen on Westworld. I think. I know, at least she's still alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Westworld. I didn't, I didn't finish season three, so I don't know if she died. <laughs> Number well, she was in the other two seasons, so. Yeah, she was. Who played the nefarious Neville Sinclair in the 91 comic book film The Rocketeer? Another movie I've only saw a couple years back. Jeez. 
Oh, both men got to brush up on their rocketeer knowledge. <laughs> I've never seen it. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. I got they the first name. I don't got the last name. Give it a watch on an afternoon one day. I have something. I, I don't think it's right. I had I had the wrong answer completely. Well, let me if you're ready, Steve, show the world. Timothy Oliphant. You are right in the fact that you got the first name. Uh not Thomas Jane, not Timothy Oliphant, but Timothy Dalton. Dalton. Dalton, former 007. Yeah. And Hot Fuzz. Hot Fuzz, well, yeah, I'm mean, gonna keep going. It means several things. Uh yes. <laughs> well, it's a, it's a prominent role. It's a, it's a really it is, it role. is. And he's also kind of nefarious in that. Mm-hmm. Number 16, who directed 1987's Wall Street? In. In. Uh, Steve? Oliver Stone. 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 Both men getting a point for that one right there. Number 17, Tom Cruise dances in his underwear. To what song in the 1983 film Risky Business? And a film I've never seen. Dude, you should see it. <laughs> I, it's it's not a movie that you should go out of your way to watch it, but it's definitely something you should watch if you're like need to fill out the Tom Cruise pantheon. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just did my top ten cruise. I don't know if anyone saw it, but yeah, I, I had like I n- saw <laughs> none of his 80s on there. None of his 80s. <laughs> Shame on you. Everything. No. Shame on you. Shame Top on Gun. you. Never got not even it. Top Gun. Look, listen, I'm not the biggest fan of Top Gun, but even I know I recognize that as a, a cinematic marvel. The Color of Money. Yeah, never saw that. That sounds good. That seems more in my alley than Top Gun. Top Gun, I'll see it just before the sequel. Have you seen The Hustler? No. Is that also Tom Cruise? <laughs> no, that's, uh, see, that's the prequel to The Color of Money. That's yeah, the- yeah. Paul Newman and I'll Jackie Gleason. Yes. Jackie, yep. Jackie Gleason, right? right. Mm. And, and Piper Laurie. Cool. Rick, what's the answer to this one? <laughs> Old time rock and roll. Old you time rock and soul, roll. Soul. Oh my god. Number eighteen. Who plays Uncle Fester in ninety ones? The Adams Family. Dude, I, I remember watching this in theaters. That's how old I am. And I wouldn't be in theaters another four years. I was 100 years old. My first movie, Monkey Trouble. Oh, well, lucky you. Is that it? Yeah, Monkey Trouble, I think. Okay. All right, well, we got Steve. Christopher Lloyd, a.k.a. Great Scott. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Question number 19, gentlemen. What Cameron Diaz film... Features former husband and wife Bruce Willis and Demi Moore. Hmm. Mm. Mm. This could still potentially be any person's game. Potentially. But it's not. That's what I said. That's what I said, Steve. Calm down. It's not. (laughs) Oh, seems cocky in this answer. I feel very. I feel 100 percent on this one. Ooh, not cocky, ladies and gentlemen, but 100 percent. I feel 100 percent on this one. Yeah, I know. I'm repeating what you said. <laughs> okay, wasn't sure. Oh, I was sure. I don't know. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I have the wrong answer. <laughs> Both been confident, but in different ways. <laughs> Let's go with Steve then. What you got? Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. Oh, I can't even knock you for not getting the subtitle. Hey, yeah, Rick tricked us. <laughs> I was pure guess. I added the full throttle at the last minute. Nice, nice. Well, good call, good call. Both men getting the point there. Final question. I'm going to name three movies. Y'all tell me the year. What year saw The Rundown with The Rock, Daredevil with my boy Ben Affleck, and Freddy vs. Jason with Freddy and, and, and Jason? In. I think Steve was in the scene might have been in before he even finished the third movie. Uh, <laughs> Rick, what you got? He says, oh, 05, Steve. The great year of 2003, my friend. 
Steve Nelson. And then, ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and still a set, a show about trivia champion. 15 points. Close one. It's close one. It was a close one. Steve Mesa worked though over double digits, 12 points on the board. Good game yes, for you very, as well. Very good game. Very good game. Well, you, uh, gave you a round of applause. Hey, I get not, that. Not, not, in a non sarcastic way. It's really, it was really close. I messed up on that damn Jimmy Dugan question. I should have gotten that one. Jimmy Dugan. Jimmy Dugan. Brother. For a second, I thought that was a water boy character. <laughs> Jimmy Dugan. Uh, do you have anything to say to all, all your followers out there, Mr. Mesa Media? Uh, not much. I'm getting ready to start working on some stuff. I've actually, I'm going to promote myself in terms of, um, doing wrestling trivia at mystic con, AKA my con in Orlando, Florida at 2 PM at the Wyndham in, on international drive. So I'm going to be, and the prizes are, get this, the prizes are, it's going to be a, uh, you're going to get a toy intercontinental championship belt for the winner. And you're also going to get a, I believe I put down a Bobby, the brain Heenan promo and one of the other prizes is uh i forgot what it was it's a great prize it's a great prize none, nonetheless i mean you're getting you're getting a, an autograph from a dead celebrity what can you what can you ask for more huh well that went in a weird direction rick am i was i wrong you? was i am i wrong is he not with us anymore has he passed on to the afterlife am i wrong rick any parting words from you <laughs> Steve, as always, thank you for the butt whooping. Um, I mean, it wasn't much of a butt whooping, dude. You're you're close. You were close to me, man. It's a, it's a lot. Listen, don't 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 try to don't you're don't you're good, dude. You're really good. I mean, you had you had me in a corner for a little bit, but you know, I got to be the champ and start putting the dukes up and start hitting in, un, under the channel above the temple. You know. Uh, um, check out my YouTube channel. I have new videos dropping every week, Tuesday and Friday. Uh, review videos on Tuesday, pick up videos Fridays, and uh, I, I still think I have like a month's worth of content uploaded and ready. So, nice. down the movie on YouTube. And he's also really good at finding AEW figures. Well, I mean, <laughs> I mean, there's a say. I believe there's a, a website called Ringside Collectibles. You know, there's he's a- sold out. OC's been sold yeah. out for a while. I was gonna say it's not available on Ringside Collectibles oh. anymore. Oh, it hasn't, yeah. hasn't been for a while. So. You no, know, he has switchable uh, hands too. Yeah, yeah. He comes with a couple of hands, doesn't he? Yeah. He comes gotta, with the important ones. Uh, and then he's. Uh. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got to hand it to them. Uh, yeah. Well, let's leave on that now because we're not going to get any funnier than that. Steve Mesa, <laughs> Rick from DTM. Check them out. Mesa Media, down to movie. JPO, down to cuddle. Uh, <laughs> DTC, check, me, <laughs> subscribe, like all that jibber jabber. Have a good night and so long.